on again. Now, we're going to take a breakdown to the supposed Baltimore Bridge that they tell you collapsed after hit by a big ship right here. We're going to talk about it and I'm going to tell you this straight up. If this wasn't an important bridge that connect to the masses in an important way, they wouldn't do this right here. You better understand that this is a part of the destruction of Babylon with these major structures coming down. You have to understand most of them going to come down. You understand? Because it's the end of Babylon, 100%. We're going to get into this and see what they're talking about with the damn breaking news. Just make it run. Mm -hmm. Hey there, everyone. Thanks for joining us here on CBS News. I'm Lilia Luciano. We here. are following mm -hmm. breaking news. Rescue workers mm -hmm. continue searching for survivors from that massive bridge collapse in Baltimore. Listen. A large container ship hit a column of the bridge just after 1.30 Eastern this morning. So listen, people. It happened at one thirty. That's a call in. But pay attention here. I want to know, people, why it's got to be this supposed to be harbor right here, this supposed to be you know, chip channel basically. Why it is this happened there? You got to understand it's part of the destruction of the masses right here on earth. So pay attention here. It's a cargo ship, meaning that it's bringing in goods for the people. You understand? And if this area supposedly get into this kind of shambles, you have to know they're going to have shortage of goods and supplies. 100%. Listen this right here. Pay attention. And a massive mm -hmm. portion of Look, the bridge people, fell into they the... They show you this video right here. I don't know what you should take from it. You understand? Because they're showing you that a ship supposedly hit one of those main columns that all up this bridge right here. And the whole thing come down, people. So you believe that they were driving cars and everything on that bridge. And one of these columns hit and the whole thing come down. No, people, it's kind of hard to believe that that's what exactly happened. They tell you this bridge made in the 70s. Now we're in 2024. A lot of those structures going to come down. Pay attention here. Water, along with several vehicles. I don't see, I don't see no, no, no signs and no boat hitting no damn column. I just don't see it, people. They're showing you that footage. Just go back a little bit. They're showing you this footage right here, supposedly right there. The ship supposedly hit the column right there. Let's watch it. Column of the bridge right just after June. 1.30 Eastern Look at this, right here, this morning. And a massive portion of oh, the man. bridge fell into... That shit just look like bullshit to me, man. Go back again. Take a look at this right here, people. What they're showing you has the direct hit and the bridge coming down. Pay Look attention. The just after 1.30 Eastern this morning. What is and that, And a massive portion of the bridge fell into the water wow. along with several vehicles. A law mm -hmm. enforcement official has confirmed... So they're telling the you, hold on here, people. Hold on, man. So they're telling you that vehicles was on top of the bridge at the time when it happens, people. So let's see. They tell you vehicles is on there. I guess... You can't see the vehicles right now, but yes, vehicles is on the bridge at that time when that ship hit the damn pole. They hit the structure and take it down. So that's why they tell you that six people missing. They know exactly how much people missing for say. What a damn joke. And they tell you that health workers is still searching for them. Listen. The bridge fell into the water along mm -hmm. with several a law mm -hmm. enforcement official has Look confirmed these people even behind even behind right here beyond this column the bridge fall the whole thing come down people wow unbelievable Along with several vehicles mm -hmm. a law enforcement official has confirmed the ship quote lost propulsion mm -hmm. before hitting the bridge two people have been rescued so far from the water one is in critical condition listen people the boat was basically out of control they get the warning before the boat hit the supposed, you know, bridge. That's what they're telling you right here, people. So I guess they sent out a warning. This boat right here sent out a warning that is out of control and it end up hitting the bridge right there. Pay attention. Listen. Six people are still not mm -hmm. accounted for. Yes, the where was those six people? You missed six cars or you missed some cars that fell down in there and you count the peoples that in there? There's no way they could have come up with this number, people have six people unaccounted for it's bullshit every one of these events they give you people have to go missing listen maryland has declared a state of, of course emergency. it's state of emergency we know the key bridge look look at this right here people it's called the key bridge and take a look at this character right here wow unbelievable take a look at them with this acting right here you tell me what it is as you could see these characters post up in the back all by design fakery 
They give the masses. Watch him. I've written over the you know this, what are you doing, people? That's the devil horns he pointing right there. Shout out to the people who give you this psyop right here. No doubt about it. Pay attention, man. Attention to his face right there and all bricks in the background. Countless times. Mm -hmm. So many of us mm -hmm. know the Key Bridge because it is our normal commute. This mm -hmm. is a place that is a normal commute route mm -hmm. for over 30,000 Marylanders. Right on the money, 30,000. Pay attention, people, because I told you this is a big thing. They have running on the masses right there in Baltimore. I did a video on Baltimore showing you it's an empty place, meaning everybody is running away from there. Everybody is going away. It becomes like a ghost town type of place. No lie, it's a broken down city. Why did they tear down that bridge? We already know it's a government operation. Listen. It's a normal commute route for mm -hmm. over 30,000 Marylanders every single day. Mm -hmm. And so to hear mm -hmm. the words mm -hmm. that the key bridge has collapsed, uh -huh. it's shocking. Yes, and that's why they did it. They know already to hear that that bridge, that key bridge they call it, his collapse is shocking. Yes, it is traumatizing to the masses in that area. And that's the reason why they're doing these things. Take a listen to what's going to happen later on with that bridge collapse. Listen. Um, and mm -hmm. heartbreaking. Mm -hmm. CBS News correspondent Remy Innocencio is in Baltimore right now. Mm -hmm. Remy. Uh, uh, let's talk about the atmosphere mm -hmm. right now in Baltimore. Of course, the main concern authorities are saying is in rescuing those seven people mm -hmm. who remain missing. Okay, but so just now you say it's seven. The... Why you say it's six and now it's seven? It's a damn joke, people. There's no way they could already have a number on the people they can't find. Listen. Bridge and just looking at the mm -hmm. map, this is an area that I imagine is going to mm -hmm. require a huge shift in people's everyday commute. There you go. Mm -hmm. Yes, absolutely, Lydia. Uh, the uh, Francis Scott Key Bridge has been mm -hmm. an iconic fixture of Baltimore mm -hmm. for that? nearly the past 50 years. Mm -hmm. There's shock, there's disbelief that this bridge now is basically just gone. Take a look at this right here, people. So there you go. Look how long this bridge was. One column got hit, people. One column and the whole thing come down. What kind of structure was that? And I told you about these water, these big body of water that they're making bridge over. You have to understand. All by design, people. You got to understand. None of these water is natural sitting there. You get it? They're the one who did it. So now they can give you a bridge. Take it down. It's chaos. Listen. I've been speaking to some Baltimore residents and mm -hmm. they said that it was a gut punch to right uh, something that they've known that. every single day of their lives. As we heard mm -hmm. from the governor just now people drive this bridge as a normal mm -hmm. part of life another resident said that they thought it was a majestic bridge that they uh, course, appreciate mm -hmm. uh, as they drive over it something that they can see uh, the surrounding wilderness mm -hmm. that they can appreciate the surrounding uh, waters and yeah uh, you can appreciate the surrounding waters what the hell the water doing for you you don't get it people listen part of baltimore uh with it uh just nearby but now the fact that this doesn't exist and the idea mm -hmm. that it this doesn't exist. may not be mm -hmm. replaced in the mm -hmm. near future it took about five years for the first bridge uh, mm -hmm. to be one deep uh, commissioned and then also to be finally built if it takes that long it will have massive repercussions mm -hmm. on a day-to-day -day level as you they're just not billing back shit people this is how they're gonna do it like i tell you it's part of the destruction of babylon all of those major structures are gonna come down remember people they built those bridge a long time ago they don't even do repairs on them of course they're ready to take them down. About, but also mm -hmm. economically for the port, port of Baltimore as well as for the country. Mm -hmm. And really no for ships going around for the the people. Yeah, I imagine that there is so much uh, that goes through there. Mm -hmm. Now, you know, one thing that we learned from authorities is that there was a mayday call uh, mm -hmm. from Listen, the ship that was made before it mm -hmm. struck the bridge. I imagine that must have saved a lot of lives. Unfortunately, this happened oh, at 1.30 a.m. not during It saved a lot of lives. So why is cars still on the bridge? Why is cars still on the bridge to fall in the water so they can tell you six or seven people gone missing? This is a joke. The Mayday call made, that means you said yes, that boat is out of control. It can't turn. I guess the steering wheel column broke or something. Why it couldn't turn, people? He head straight to the bridge and knock it down. So yes, the Mayday call come in. Why is cars still on the bridge? Wow, listen. Shower. But what else do we know about what happened before the collapse mm -hmm. 
Sure. So, from what we have been told, mm -hmm. uh, the we'll Dali you. cargo vessel mm -hmm. left the port of Baltimore, and shortly thereafter, it was only uh, into a few minutes into mm -hmm. its uh, journey, uh, it radioed the port of Baltimore and said that there was uh, some kind of problem, some kind of malfunction, mm -hmm. uh, and they had been starting to lose no, power. people, this is bullshit. They just left off a few minutes from the port, and they're going to go under this bridge. Right away, they have a problem. Couple minutes after the boat leave, you know, slow about these people. Come on, man. The boat is not that fast. It's not like it's going 500 miles per hour and it just leave a few minutes so it's gone. No, it's right there. So it just left people and it's already have a problem where they can't control it. It's just going to run right into the bridge column. Listen. And we even see in the this is a joke. Uh, uh, live cam footage no, from that time. No, live cam footage. This is a fake footage, people. This is a 100% fake footage they're giving the masses. What kind of bridge fall down like that? If it's a bridge that supposed to be frail, there's no way no car could be driving on it. If one column gonna take down the whole thing, you're trying to tell me that's what holding up the whole bridge? Come on, people, watch this. Just around Look at uh, this. 1.30 a.m. in the morning, mm -hmm. that they started to lose power. The power went out, power went back on, okay. power went out again. And then the at some point, you see this big fluff, wow. this big uh, cloud of yeah. black smoke. Mm -hmm. That is indicative that they tried to steer the vessel mm -hmm. somehow to make uh, to this hopefully make joke, it avoid uh, the bridge. We now know that didn't happen. And shortly mm -hmm. thereafter, we saw that massive shock from that explosion. Mm -hmm. uh, concrete uh, coming off of the pylon water splashing off of the ship and then now we know uh that the francis scott Key bridge no longer exists my wow. gosh ray amino sensor i know you what have a, a lot job. of reporting ahead and we'll mm -hmm. be back with you in some uh mm -hmm. time uh, let's bring in thank you so much for your reporting let's bring in now Look at Roberto this, a CGI Leon. he is a structural professor wow. at virginia tech uh to you know break no, down man this is a joke we're not gonna go in these people right here like i say why are they using cgi talking about virginia tech Technology you're bringing the news with that shit is fake. Move, take a We're look. We're incredibly grateful for the brave rescuers. Mm -hmm. And pay attention, people. This one bring out the Joe Biden out at the damn nest, as you could see him blue and red right there for the division. He not going for red, he not going for blue. He go to, going for both of them, the division style. That's what they do, and the masses and the character that he running against do the same. Pay attention to the eyes. You tell me if that's a real human being sitting there talking to you. Say it's the president, the one that's running you in America. What a damn joke. As you could see, the flags make the twin pillow. He's standing in the middle. Pay attention. It's all to the scene mm -hmm. And to the people of Baltimore. Mm -hmm. I want to say, look at the we're eyes, people. We're going to stay with you. We're going to stay with you. Around 850,000 mm -hmm. They have to break the footage and come back again. Because he can't just give you a clear statement. Why, people? If it's the president of America that's supposed to keep the people calm in this situation, what is this you have on screen? Like I tell you, it's the end of times. That's why you show up dummies of the leaders of the damn world in these Go times. Through that port Look every at this. single year. Mm -hmm. And we're going to get it up and running again as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. 15,000 jobs depend mm -hmm. on that port. You hear that? 15,000 jobs. Number six code in show up. But you already know that's the people who's going to feel it. What you think in these times when they're laying off everybody for AI? What you think the workforce is done? So don't worry about that 15,000 people that are going to lose their job in Baltimore. Baltimore people are already leaving that area. Listen. And we're going to do everything we can to protect those mm -hmm. jobs and help those workers. President Biden at the no, White House yesterday on the federal it. government's response to the bridge collapse mm -hmm. in Baltimore. And joining us now, U.S. Transportation Secretary. Mm -hmm. And this other Sodomite right here, they can't wait to come out to give the masses assurance, supposedly. Yes, tell you how safe the world is, how America is. Just keep, just keep believing in these people, even though a little apps, a mishap happens. Just sit back. They always got the solution to the problem. That's all the other chaos. Listen. Judge, Mr. Secretary, thanks for your time this morning. Obviously, this first and foremost is a mm -hmm. human tragedy. There are six uh -huh. people whose families of are mourning them today. Uh, mm -hmm. From your point of view, though, also a transportation, a logistical and infrastructure disaster. Mm -hmm. How do you begin to get your arms around a place that was so vital mm -hmm. to commerce in this country? Listen. Well, you're right. First and foremost, our hearts go out to all of the families of the victims, mm -hmm. and our thanks go out to all of the first responders mm -hmm. who unquestionably yes. saved lives. Always. 
It don't matter what kind of situation it is. You have to shout out to these first responders because they save lives. What a bullshit. Listen. In their response to this incident. Now we have to prepare for what's next. Uh, that key bridge was uh, mm -hmm. a very important thoroughfare for vehicles. And because the bridge is down and the ship is still there, Listen. that channel is closed. That is yeah, the main people? channel. Really, That's what I'm trying to tell you. Now the channel is closed. Meaning that goods and supplies won't get to the people as normal. Do you understand that? Always these psyops involve something tied to the people themselves. You have to understand the government is the one who put you in shambles right here. So yes, the, the bridge is still in the water. The damn boat is still there with things packed up on it. Still have the supplies on it. So that means no boat can pass by this area until they get it cleaned up. Listen. Only channel to get to the only, majority only. of the port facilities in Baltimore. There you it's go. the top vehicle mm -hmm. port, uh, vehicle handling port in the U.S. Mm -hmm. That's not just uh, cars, by the way. That also includes a lot of farm mm -hmm. equipment, which is uh -huh. a very important export mm -hmm. for the American economy. There There's a small mm -hmm. uh, uh, area that is outside of the bridge. It's called Sparrow Point. There's a facility called Trade Point there. Uh, that we're uh, already looking at how that could uh, play a role in getting. Hold on, people. I'm going to ask you a question. Where is the column? Bam! Hold on here, people. You don't understand what they do with TV, man. It's a deception. That means there's. They can't show you something that you can be just safe with and just believe it. Okay. Show me the column that the boat hit. Sometimes when they do these newscasts with these lies, it's best if they show nothing to the smart people. Now, you can show the dummies anything you want because they will never figure it out. Now, the boat right here hit one of the posts, the main column that hold up the damn bridge. And that's the reason why it came down. Okay, look at the boat front, people. I'm done. They go the front of the boat. Where is the column? You see the supposed diamond looking shape on these bridge parts. Where is the column? Okay. The, the boat run dead on into the column that hold up the damn bridge. Where is the column? Okay. So therefore you could never have part of the bridge top just laying there right there on the boat. The boat front supposed to be bash. Because that's the part that it, the column. And if it's not, show me the column, people, where it's at. Oh, I forgot the column is disappear into the waters. You only can see the bridge itself sitting on the boat. This is bullshit right here. 100% in. Through this Take next a look period, at that. Where is the column? Nothing like the, the capacity uh, that the is in the, the main where part the of column? the port itself. And th I'm looking, people. So the column supposed to be on this side. Where is the column? Is that it? This is a joke, people. It's supposed to be mashed up with the boat right there. You're not supposed to see no separation between the boat and the column. The boat smashed dead on in the column and take the bridge down. The column can't just disappear. Of workers. Uh, you know, if, if goods aren't moving, mm -hmm. uh, they're not getting paid. Yeah, so we we're know. very concerned for them. And we the bottom know. line is mm -hmm. that uh, we are doing everything column, that people. can be done mm -hmm. uh, so that we can get this bridge back up and mm -hmm. get that port back open. So, mm -hmm. Mr. Secretary, on a large scale, as you Go said, back, back open. You, you so, Mr. It from Secretary. another angle again, where is the column, people, that the boat hit? The boat's supposed to have a big old gash in it because it hit a steel column that all up that big, strong bridge and it actually take it down. Where is the hole in the boat, people? Where is the damage on the boat? You can't see none. What is that, people? The boat directly hit the column. The boat front still intact, but the bridge tear all the way down. You believe it? Again. Large scale, as you say, we're talking about international trade here. Mm -hmm. Are you confident you first that you that can be mm -hmm. rerouted, that there are enough ports on the, mm -hmm. on the East Coast and the, the Northeast reroute. to handle mm -hmm. all of that? And then the second question is a more local one, which is we're mm -hmm. just hearing from Antonia Hilton, our reporter in Baltimore, mm -hmm. about everyday residents of Baltimore who aren't sure how they're going to get to work. They're not sure how they're going to get mm -hmm. to their medical appointments and things mm -hmm. like that. What do you say to them? That's right. There's about 30,000 vehicles a day mm -hmm. that normally go over. How would they know, people? How would they know? They, this is the second one make the same speech. Talking about 30,000 people pass there a day, commuting on there. 
How could they know how much people to be exact? Listen. That bridge, they have to be diverted and rerouted. They normally go over that bridge. They have to be diverted Dali. and rerouted. There are alternate <laughs> routes to tunnels 95 and 895 mm -hmm. uh -huh. uh, that uh, the majority of that traffic will be routed to, but it's certainly like going people. to add to commute time. No column that the boat hit in. You just see the railing from the bridge. Wow. And mm -hmm. com complicate a lot of people's uh, uh, routines and lives until that uh, bridge mm -hmm. is back in service. Mm -hmm. On the supply chain front, there are certainly many ports on the East Coast. Mm -hmm. There is no substitute for the port of Baltimore uh -huh. being up and running. I guess because Baltimore become a ghost town, I guess it's time to take down that bridge and reroute those supposed supply boats to another harbor. Of course, that's how they do it. And you notice what time it happened? I take all of these things in consideration, just like these hurricanes and these twisters, tornadoes that approach overnight. It's the same thing, like I tell you, government operation and the night is never your friend. They run a lot of operations on you during the night time. The night is not part of our real life, people. It's something that the government people use, the devil people use. For the advantage on this side of the earth. Why you think it happened 1.30 overnight? In the middle of the morning when it's dark people. This is when this shit happened. Like I said this is when they pull off psyops. And the masses. They could take down that bridge during the night. And tell you this is what happened. Show you this supposed result in the morning. Tell you how much people missing and all. This is how they do it. They block off one side so nobody can get on and they pull off the side up. This is how they do it right here and then the news and the media fall right into place because it's owned by the same people who bring in you these agenda. They're the one who take down that bridge for the masses to suffer right there. You understand that? I'm on the run.